YouTube Starback Course, talk about some Final Fantasy 7. We're talking about Rebirth today. We have some big stuff to talk about, of course, but I do want to do a quick follow-up to yesterday's video where we talked about the short story that's going to be in the Rebirth World Preview book, the short story about Cloud, 2000 Guild leading to a hero, because there were some details that people point out to me that kind of solidify at least a basic idea of what the book will be about. So with yesterday's video, the, the 2000 Guild leading to a hero, the first thing I thought of was like the bombing mission. It turns out that's exactly what it is. Actually, during Chapter 3, whenever Tifa first brings you to your apartment, y'all talk about it, and Cloud even says that you guys owe me 2000 If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2000 remember? To be fair, I haven't played through Remake in almost like two years, probably. I did my hard mode playthrough at the end of like 2021, early 2022, and I haven't played it since then. And I intentionally, I avoided playing it in 2023 because I wanted to wait till closer to Rebirth to do it again. But I knew the 2000 Gil sounded familiar, I just couldn't remember where exactly that was set at. And also, Tifa gives you like 500 Gil in that moment. And then when you guys do your rounds the next day, you like, I think, get 600 Gil doing this stuff, and then Barrett gives you some money. But yeah, I knew 2000 Gil sounded familiar. Now that we know that it's like a young cloud and it, the 2000 Gil's about the bombing mission, it'll be something involving Tifa. Some people theorize somewhere around like maybe the promising, the well seen, the flashback we get, something like that. Some sort of thing with Tifa for sure. The other news we have today, they put out another trailer. It's pretty much the story so far video, but it's condensed. It, that previous video was like five minutes or so, and this one's like three minutes. And it, there's dialogue has changed ever so slightly on some scenes for some reason. I'm not sure what that's about. And then the ending's a little bit different because they show like a scene from Rebirth, they show the group walking out of the tunnel near Calm and overlooking the land in front of them from like the summer game fest trailer but besides dialogue being different and that scene being added i don't think anything else is different so i don't even know that it's worth really talking about the info that we have right now is that there's going to be a rebirth like, stage presentation thing at type a game show uh within a handful of hours actually as i'm recording so Genki dropped this tweet late last night that says FF7 Rebirth co-director Motomu Toriyama and battle director Taruki Indo will give a FF7 Rebirth presentation as part of the Bandai Namco program at the Taipei Game Show on January 27th. And he dropped this tweet this morning that gives us a little more info that says the time has been confirmed. FF7 Rebirth co-director Motomu Toriyama and battle director Taruki Indo will give a 50-minute live broadcast stage presentation at Taipei Game Show on January 27th at 2 p.m. JST. We can at least expect new Rebirth footage and maybe even more. So I mentioned that that's happening like not too long from now because like right now it's as I'm recording it's 7 a.m. in Japan time. So it's seven hours from now is when they'll be doing that live broadcast. That'll be 11 p.m. for me personally in Central Time. Do the math or whatever for your time zones, obviously. But a 50 minute presentation. We were wondering if they were going to do another one of these because I think 16 had multiple kind of like long presentations. I don't remember exactly how many because I didn't super keep up with the game. And remake I think had at least two because they had the big one at E3 20. 19 and then they did another one at some point where they did like the abzu boss fight and then showed off like some of like the mini games and things like that i don't remember how long that presentation itself was but they've they did at least like two kind of stage presentations when it came to remake if not more so it always seemed like they should do one, another one for rebirth besides the tokyo game show one and we're getting that and pretty much as big as the damn tokyo game show one right that one's like a little over an hour but there's a lot of like fluff and talking and not a lot of showing off the game and if this one's 50 minutes of them really just kind of showing off and talking about the game, man, that could be really big. They have one of the co-directors there, obviously, Motomu Toriyama, but they also have Endo there, who's the battle director for the game, so they're definitely going to show off, like, fighting, show off some gameplay, maybe fighting some bosses we haven't seen yet or something like that, maybe showing off some synergy attacks, something along those lines. But 50 minutes, man, that's fucking massive. There could be a lot of stuff in this. Well, that's it for the video, though. I don't know if we have any other info right now for this event. Obviously, we're just a handful of hours away from it. There's some cool stuff, like the demo stations at the Type A Game Show are pretty cool. They're like gold saucer themed. that looks kind of interesting. But besides that, I don't think there's anything else really to talk about. We're just kind of counting down. We'll do, obviously, a big breakdown of this tomorrow. Sort of like a, like we do at Tokyo Game Show, where it's sort of like a reaction slash breakdown, because I'm not going to watch it live. I'm not going to react to it, but I'll be watching it for the first time as I'm making the video. So that'd be kind of cool. Anyways, that's the video. Subscribe to me if you guys are new social networks in the description below. Follow me on Twitter, that's YT. That's it. Bye. Used to care what people thought, but now I care more. I mean, nobody out here's got it figured out. So therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending, depending on whether or not it's worth it. So insecure, no one's perfect. We spend it with no shame. We blow that. Like Coltrane, we in here. Like Rogaine, or leave it. Like Cobain.